Hi everyone and welcome to the Cozy Escape Awards book nomination. So today we're gonna go over Destination Vacation Cozy Mysteries. Now remember, if you have not already, make sure to download the guide of the top 100 books that were nominated for the Cozy Escape Book Awards and then head over to our Patreon page. It is 100% free, do not worry, you don't have to pay. Head over there, follow us, completely here, free to hit the follow button, and then go ahead and vote for all the books in the different categories that you want to vote for. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa, author of the Frosted Misfortunes Cozy Mystery Series, starring my own little kitty cat, Lucky. On this channel, we talk all about mysteries, whether those are books, TV shows, or movies. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Tuesday or extra videos like today because it's Cozy Escape book nominations. All right, so I said the category for today is Destination Vacation. Don't forget, Courtney is doing a different category on her channel, so head over there to watch hers. I will leave a link to that below. But the first book, and again, this is in no particular order. The first one is Death by Flamenco by Jennifer S. Alderson, and this is an Easter murder in Seville. So this is in Spain, and it's about a tour guide, and she's giving flamenco lessons, and someone turns up dead. The next book is Skeleton in Scotland by Carolyn L. Dean, and this is a world traveler cozy. So this one, she actually lives in Cornwall, and then her and her dog travel to Scotland because her boss's friend is missing, so she's on the case to try to track them down. Next one is A Crime of Passion Fruit by Ellie Alexander, and this is number six in the Bake Shop Mysteries. Now, if you remember in this series, the main character actually worked on a cruise ship with her husband, but then she left her husband and moved back home with her mom, and worked at her mom's bakery. And so her husband has invited her to come back and bake on the cruise ship now that she is a baker. I'm not sure what she was doing, if she was baking on the cruise ship or cooking before, but she is back on the cruise ship and then there is a murder. The next book is Tidal Wave by Lorna Burnett, and this is number 10 in a book town mystery series. Now, her book, I guess was bookstore was burned to the ground. I actually haven't read this series. And so while her bookstore is being rebuilt, her and her mom decide to, or her sister decide to go on a mystery cruise. How fun would that be? I would like to go on a book mystery uh, lover's cruise. But anyways, this is a, like, like people who love mysteries, not like people who are in love. <laughs> That's what I meant. Uh, anyway, so whether there, there's actually a real murder that happens on the cruise ship, of course. Last book is Exposed in Edinburgh by Scarlett Moss, and this is number one in the House Sitters Cozy Mystery Series. Now, this book is about a husband-wife team that worked at the sheriff's office in Texas and then decides to take a vacation to Edinburgh, but I guess their neighbor asked them to squash a rumor. I'm not really sure what's going on, and so it was it was in a very good description and I honestly haven't read the book. So anyway, so they go over to Scotland to try to help their neighbor. All right, that is it for the five books for the Destination Travel Mysteries. Make sure to download the Cozy Escape Awards Guide if you haven't already, and then head over to our Patreon page and vote for your favorite book from today's list. All right, I hope everyone's having a fabulous day and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for another book nomination list. Bye.